Hiya, my name is Charlie and welcome to my channel and today is, as you can tell from the title, my reading goals for 2023. I'm not one of these people that is like super strict with the goals that I'm setting, it's like yes, I've got a list, I've got an, like, I, I aim, these are all things that like I intend to do, but if I don't do them, it never ever bothers me. Like this isn't like a serious like, I must get this done and if I don't I will be devastated. No, this is not that. I do, I use this as a way of sort of focusing my reading and it just makes me feel better about myself if I achieve little things and get little things tick ticked. I am a list person I'm massively and it brings me great joy to have endless lists especially in my bookish journal so this is what this is about <laughs> it's not a super serious thing. Do you guys set bookish goals do you have bookish intentions bookish resolutions re or any resolutions let me know in the comments below some of yours and um, like I'm gonna make a start so right I've got like 11 things on this list and I'll read you through and very mo a lot of most of this is like I said a list lists of lists so the num number one I've written a list of 10 recommendations by this wonderful book this is a um, diverse spines bi 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 bibliophile this is was this was a collab between Jamise Harper and um, Jane Mount I follow Jamise Harper on bookstagram like a million of you probably do she's amazing and I've, I've got like I think I've got a, a journal of this like they released a journal previously of this and they've done it they did a second collaboration and this is basically filled with recommendations literally filled to the brim of diverse recommendations and it's just amazing so this last year if you also wasn't at the beginning of last year I was on booktube so you guys wouldn't know this one of my goals again was to do I did something similar so I, I picked out 10 books at the beginning of last year as I have done this year and my aim was to read those 10 books like I said to give me some focus etc so all I'll do is I'll read you through those 10 books because that's the best so last year I, I like I said I, I did I picked out 10 books and I read I think I read six of them so I but the the four that I didn't read I've automatically moved over to this year's ones and my aim is to read at least five of these this year so the first one I've got on the list is Memorial by Brian Washington if you guys have seen my weekly reads you'll see that I literally just finished this last week this was on my sh my shelves for like nearly three years so I'm glad I got that one done. The second one I've got is Against the Loveless World by Susan Abuela. That is one I've owned for a, is it maybe just over a year, so not like super long. And then I've got Severance by Ling Ma because lots of people were recommending that last year. And then Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. I really want to read some Toni Morrison this year. I have never read any Toni Morrison and I cannot believe that I haven't and it's yeah, my library has a couple and I definitely want to like read through her works. I think actually Stuart from The Library's Open is doing a project with Toni Morrison this year. I might try and join in that as well because that might be a good way to help me do that. Anyway, another one on the list is Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. I found this on Scribd so that'll be easy for me to listen to. Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. I haven't read any of, them, of this author either. Then we've got A Burning by Mega Majumdar another book that I've been wanting to get to I haven't actually I don't actually own this but I've found it on Scribd uh Chlorine Sky by Mahogany L Brown this is on my Kindle anyway that I bought like a year or so ago and then I've got Suitable Boy which I obviously picked up it's literally just behind me that I picked up when I was on holiday last year so yeah I, I do plan on reading that hopefully at least as long as, as long as I read at least five of those I'll be happy like I said I'm not gonna be too hard I'm not gonna repeat that Number two and three, I've, I've put the Women's Prize books as Booker books because I always intend to try and at least sample the, book, the books from those lists and I will write them all down and then it's like a fun project. It's something I enjoy. That's what um, those two things on my reading goals are. Number four is Booktuber's Favourites, read at least five. I've got a whole project with this planned, which you will all you'll see coming up. I've got to have a bit video about this I've been writing them down collating lots of booktubers favorites so if you guys make booktube channels and you've done a favorites and you don't think I've watched it let me know in the comments below because I want to check them out I'm trying to watch read through it watch as many videos as I can and write them down I've got a whole book and I, once the book's full that'll be me done for collating my thing and then I've got 2023 must reads um at least five so these are books that I have picked from my shelves that there's going to be a lot of crossovers so I'll read the list but some of these books will appear on different other lists that you will see. 
these are books from my shelves etc that I've been wanting to get to so I've got Against the Loveless World <laughs> obviously like I said it's on my shelves Memorial Salt um, by Brian Washington Salt Water by Jessica Andrews Black Sun by Rebecca Rowanhorse Thrust by Lydia Yuknovich Daughter of Fortune by Isabel Elande The Way to a Small Angry Planet by Je um, Becky Chambers The Far Field Commonwealth by Anne Pratchett Bluebird Bluebird by Attica Locke Orlando by Virginia Woolf and The Hand That First Held Mine. So all of these books I own in some way or another that I, I want to get to them. I've next on my list number six uh, the Dickens Mega Along that I'm um, I'm that I'm taking part in like casually. Katie from Books and Things, in case you don't know, is hosting a big read along of all of Dickens' works over the next like year or year or two. And I did DNF Oliver Twist, but apart from so I've read one DNF one, but I'm I'm still I'm letting myself do that if I don't enjoy it because if you can't force yourself to read what you don't want to read, so. And the next one, then I think in January and February, is Nicholas Nickleby, so I'll be excited to get to that. Seventh on my list is to read at least five non-fiction and doc document that, so that's just quite simple. I haven't got like a list of non-fiction I want to get to, but in case you guys didn't, um, haven't seen, I got like quite a lot of non-fiction for Christmas. I'll be <laughs> reading some of those soon, and I'll put a link to my video in the description, or up in the cards, sorry, <laughs> that'll probably be easier. And then I've got library, read at least 10, ten books. Last year I read 15 books from the library. I always want to be reading my shelves as a priority, but like I said, it's quite easy for it's quite easy for me to do the <laughs> pick up books from the library, but it's got to be a good balance. So I and I'm just going to document that anyway. And then I've got ninth on my list, reduce my ebooks by at least 5. So <laughs> that should be quite easy to do. I've got the, quite a lot of on my um on my e-reader and I want to like read as many of them as I can this year. Like I said, I'm sure everyone is saying the same thing. So maybe even if I just read like one a month, maybe that should be quite manageable averagely. So yeah. Then I've got like a keep or unhaul project, which I've got books from, I will go through the list again, that you'll you will see there are so, is some crossover. The books on my read or unhaul project are Memorial by Brian Washington. Like I said, I've read that. Against the Loveless World, Orlando, um, Commonwealth, the Poison Web Bible, which I have had on my shelves forever. I know that Jem from Gem of Books loved this book. So I ha and like, as do loads of other people. So I 100% do want to tr at least try it this year. I've got, again, The Hamlet First Held Mine, which is obviously on the other list. The Far Field, um, which again, I mentioned. The Scapegoat, which I've officially DNF'd. I was meant to be buddy, re buddy reading this with Ben of Bernard's Books of His Thoughts. And I tried it, I tr had previously DNF'd it. But I just couldn't get into it and you know when you've got it in your head that you've dnf something and you, when you try to do it again it's just like oh it's like really really difficult so unfortunately I'll be passing that back on I do love Daphne and John Murray though um, so it's probably just me Tales of the City I've got on my shelf above that was um, a gift a few years ago um, and it's one I want to get to and I think I can get it on Scribd so the Colour of Magic. I want to read some Terry Pratchett. That is what I've got. Um, the Colour of Magic. But if I can read some Terry Pratchett, I might just keep that. So I'm going to head to Jack from Spread Book Joy's videos, and I'm going to get some advice from her to try and get into that series because I know how much she loves it, and it's like it seems like something I would love, like that kind of magical escapist book. So yeah. I've also got Around the World in Eighty Days. I won't unhaul this because this is actually Oscar's book, but I will like give it back to them potentially. I do really want to read it because I loved the television show of it um, that BBC made last year or the year before. It starred David Tennant. Oh my god, I love that so much. But yeah, I want to read the book by Jules Verne. Not Without Laughter by Langston Hughes, which again is on my shelves. Force of Nature by Jane Harper, which is an Australian crime book, which I've had forever. I feel like maybe I'll do a try a chapter. Maybe I should do a try a chapter of these. Any ones that I don't like, then I'll know straight away to unhaul them. And then I've got Master Pip, I've got on, which was um, um, uh, either a winner or it was a book, this is a book of book. The Deep Blue Between. So that's the last one on that list. So if I haven't read them by the end of the year, or apart from the Terry Pratchett one, I'm going to pass them on. So because it shows that I really am not interested if that's the case. Two more things I've got is I've got, I want to take part in, or I'm, I'm taking part in, the 2023 Native Lit Challenge, which is a challenge being hosted on an Instagram challenge, which has been hosted by Native Girls Reading. I'll put the, the um, her Instagram channel um, 
I'll put the picture of the, the board and her Instagram handle on the screen as in also in the description. So the challenge I'll read you in case you guys don't know, challenge number one is read a native, these are all reading books by native authors, indigenous authors, um, uh, so under 200 pages is one, um, read a new to you native author, then is number two, number three is recommended to you, number four is indigenous author outside North America, number five is any native author, these are quite easy, quite manageable, a book that has illustrations, number seven is new release in 2023, number eight is a book you've already owned, and number nine, lastly, is a native classic, so quite manageable. I did take part in her challenge that she did last year, and I I think that I did all but one of the prompts. I can't remember which one it is by now off the top of my head, but yeah, so that's like a personal thing. I also want to note my rereads, and then a bookish experiment that I've got is, is I've been seeing, obviously, like I said, I've been watching everyone's bookish favourites, and lots of people, like ev at the end of every month, pick what their favourite book is, what like one book at the end of every month and then they put like so they write and then they write it down and at the end of the year then they've automatically generated 12 bookish favourites and I want to so what I want to do is I want to do this but then compare and see whether will do, would that stand up to my actual top 12 so I don't know because I, I can't imagine because some months obviously you read have really terrible reading months and some months you have read amazing 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 books obviously everyone makes their favorites how they make their favorites so i'm not judging but i want to it's like an interesting thing to me to see whether it'll make my life easier so i'm going to do, be doing that i'm going to be recording one favorite every single month so yeah, that's the end of my goals those are all the ones that i'm planning i may add more to them i may chop the, the goals down a bit let me know in the comments below if do you have any bookish goals do you have any resolutions like i said are there any things that you think i should be adding i should be making as goals yeah. have a good old conversation in the comments below with me yeah take care and send you guys lots of love goodbye